Arizona's 7th District. Congressman, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you, Keith. I've never heard of a congressman in the history of this country proposing retribution against his own state, so I'm assuming you're even angrier about this than I am. No, it is. Uh, we're codifying into law if the governor signs this. Racial profiling, uh, discrimination under the Constitution. Uh, we're codifying the fact that law enforcement now has a free hand to stop anybody that looks the part in terms of undocumented people, ask them for verification. Uh, it's unprecedented, and it's a horrible, horrible uh, precedent for the nation. And, uh, and, it, and we can't allow it to continue as, uh, uh, as though there's no consequences. And the consequences that we can only bring up right now is economic sanctions. Uh, we're asking organizations, civic, religious, labor, uh, Latino uh, organizations of color uh, to refrain from using Arizona as a convention site, to refrain from spending their dollars in the state of Arizona until Arizona turns the clock forward instead of backwards and, and joins the rest of the uh, union. This is your state. You know the politics of it. Is this going to hold or a reasonable mind's going to come in and go, no, we're in the 21st century. This is not Tombstone 1889. Unfortunately, we also have Sheriff Arpaio. Mm -hmm. We have a mentality that has made immigration uh, the whipping child for every issue involved. And uh, I, 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 well, I hope that the governor uh, uses her veto discretion to stop this bill. Uh, I'm not optimistic. And I think this fight is going to be both legal, political, and economic. Am I wrong about this, this uh, sort of behind the iron curtain quality here that, that somebody whose ancestors moved to this country in 1777 could be pulled over and asked to, to produce their papers like we were in some sort of, as I said before, Hollywood World War II movie? Absolutely. You know, uh, I'm a citizen. I'm a member of Congress. I can be pulled over in my hometown of Arizona.